Here we have a work on paper by Elzier Quarter from uh, about 1951. It is an ink and watercolor paper titled Woman at Window. Quarter was a painter and master printmaker. He was African American and he was best known for his depictions of African American women. Porter was uh, born in Richmond, Virginia, but was raised in Chicago. And he attended the School of the Art Institute in the 1930s and then worked for the Easel Division of the Works Project Administration later in the 30s and 40s in Chicago. Uh, his subject at that, at that time was the African American community on Chicago's South Side. Porter was also instrumental in the founding of the South Side Community Art Center which is still running today and remains one of the oldest running art centers in the country. In the 1940s, uh, Quarter received two Rosenwald Foundation fellowships, which allowed him to travel to the uh, Sea Isles off the coast of Georgia and South Carolina. Uh, and there he encountered uh, the Gullah people, which uh, is a communities of African American uh, inhabitants who retained remnants of, of uh, African language and uh, life ways, uh, folk ways that were uh, derived from uh, Africa. And this was a really important encounter to him. Uh, for him it was a uh, the encountering of the contemporary African American experience of uh, being an African American in this country during the 1940s and 50s, and also an encounter with his history, the history of African Americans, uh, still alive and still a uh, vital part of that uh, living tradition. And this influenced much of his later work. Um, his style of work is very modern. There, it's not necessarily a nostalgic depiction. Um, he uses a very strong graphic sense of creating uh, of the, the geometry of the space and of the lines of the woman to accentuate her strength and her beauty. And it is this melding of history, of identity, and of a sort of modern sensibility in his art that was really distinctive in Quarter's career.